Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about the Festool Capex, the new REB. What's been upgraded on the model and whether I feel it's worth the $1,500 price tag. All Midas R's are basically the same. There, I just said it. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I wanna say that the Capex, the Festool Capex is probably the most advanced sliding Midas R they've ever used. At a cost of $1,500, the price point has a lot of pros shaking their heads. Lots of guys I know say that the Festool pieces are well designed for sure, but that the advantage of the tools themselves do not justify the price. Well, if you're a pro contractor, you need to start thinking about your tools as an investment. I've had my Capex saw for eight, maybe 10 years, I, I don't remember. But when you amortize that, eight years is about 187 bucks. 10 years is 150, that's a no brainer. Do I use my Capex daily? Hell no. Most of the time, we're a cordless job site and my guys use my stuff. Similar to my preferred pickup truck, I prefer to drive a Chevy on the job site and a Mercedes here in the shop. To be clear, I don't own a Mercedes. I wish I did. My point is, I use the Capex, my Mercedes, where it best fits what I do and my business. It lives in my shop where we build mantles, bookcases, and finished components where real precision carpentry matters. I would not want to subject my Capex to the abuse, the job site abuse, of my cordless Chevy miter saw. Uh, plus, my guys always use my stuff, and they're not always as nice with my tools as they are with theirs, right? I'm not making that up. Then there's others who perform high-quality work daily on their job sites. Maybe they're setting up their work sites and living there for a while. That's cool. Well. Now that we understand how the Festool Capex fits where, where I come from, let's talk about what's new on the Capex REB. So um, just buckle up because there's some really cool changes. Festool puts a lot of thought into every little component. It's pretty cool. To start, Festool upgraded their slide out extensions on the sides to give you a bigger footprint and better stability. That's if you're not ex using the extension reels. They also put the miter fast finder on the back or the rear of the tool where it locks in place nicely. The miter fast makes transfer of inside and outside angles from the workpiece to the saw quick and easy without any complex calculations and it's included with the saw and it's genius. There's a locking hose connection and Festool plans to make this upgrade on all of their dust ports moving forward. The new connection is effective at con um, collecting dust and now allows the hose to lock in place, which is gonna prevent an accidental disconnect, which as you know, it's a huge nuisance. The hose port will accommodate a 27 millimeter inside, 36 millimeter outside diameter, and uh, the flexible and removable rubber dust hood, which is at the rear of the blade, basically deflects that waste right into the dust port. Between the two of those, they are 92% effective at collecting dust. We like that you can completely remove this rubber hood for cutting larger materials, or you can fold it back up over itself to create more clearance. When you When you consider the locking hose connection and the already existing rubber hood, you have a winning combination. Oh, here's a great pro tip for you guys. We found the Capex has the best dust collection or dust extraction. When you cut or shorten your hose to six feet and you use a 36 millimeter Festool hose, the 1600 watt motor in the Capex utilizes a direct drive, which basically gives you more efficient transfer of energy to the blade. The motor, also has a magnetic brake around the armature, and there's, there's no contact point, so it's not gonna wear down or wear out over time. Nothing's rubbing. The blade itself will stop in approximately three seconds, the brake. All right, there's a new stand. The old stand worked with a little V-groove on the sides to connect the, the outrigger, um, the wings. The new stand is it's designed, it gives you a much bigger groove. Everything locks in and clamps nicely. The stand, it's designed, it's sturdy, it's super maneuverable, and it's kind of cool looking, but it does not fold flat, so you might have some time or take up some space in your van or trailer. Another cool thing about the stand is that a CT Mini fits perfectly beneath it, which kind of opens up the landscape around it and saves space, no trip hazards. 
Okay, let's talk about what's not new, but super appreciated with the Capex. Some of the features that we've come to love on the Capex still remain, obviously, and here's a couple that I like and that I wanted to kind of bring forward. Often overlooked on Festool is their warranty. All Festool power tools include a three-year warranty, um, a wear and tear warranty, and a two-day standard repair time turnaround one month satisfaction guaranteed. That means that they will replace brushes for free, address wear and tear issues, and fix the tool no matter what. When you think about it, this is a pro warranty, not a DIY approach. The Fest tool features a rail forward design and has always been their number four batter for Capex, right? Um, it increases precision, it creates a compact footprint, and a rail forward design obviously allows you to just place it right up against the wall for cutting tasks and minimizing space in the workspace. The rails are 30 millimeters in diameter and wide apart. And that's done so that you can reduce further deflection with head play, especially when the saw goes to 45 on a bevel. Now, the rail forward design has long been a favorite in the shop here, because um, I, ha I have it right up against the wall. It's, it's in my shop, it's fitting against the wall, and it takes up minimal space. I appreciate that. Also, the real forward design assists when transporting or storing the saw. Speaking of transporting, the saw weighs about 47 pounds, and the new Capex REB allows you to just maneuver it nicely. You just tilt it to 45, pick it right up. Uh, the Capex head has lockdowns, and, and it's compact. It'll keep the head locked and in place. Two handle locations on either side are going to let you carry its center gravity kind of where your core strength is. It's a, not, a much safer way to carry it. When using the saw, I couldn't help but appreciate that the head is spring-loaded, the bevel adjustment. When adjusting this bevel, there is a counter spring that balances the saw head. This keeps the head in position even when it's not locked in place. So it allows you to kind of dial in the micro bevel angle adjustment much easier and way more accurately. Also having bevel, um, bevel gauges on both sides of the saw allow you to quickly and easily make reference. <coughs> so, since we're talking about bevels, it's hard to overlook the bevel lock lever and knob. The lever is easy to operate and, and, and the knob itself is conveniently located right in the center on the back of the REB and you can control positive detents on the bevel angles. The bevel knob has three settings, positive detents at 0 and 45 degrees, free movement between uh, left 45, right 45, and free movement up to 47 degrees. Unfortunately, you still have to remove the fence in order to achieve a 45 degree bevel. Man, I wish that weren't necessary. I wish there was a workaround on that. Okay, so if I said that you could have a 12 inch miter saw capacity in a 10 inch miter saw, would you want it? One thing I learned about the Capex REB and, and the Capex is that it has a special cutting position and that locks the saw head down and deeper um, by the cut fence. When employed, it provides a greater than usual cutting capacity, utilizing the back portion of the blade more efficiently or effectively. A lever controls features and allows you to cut the crown at six, six and five eighths nested and vertical cuts at four and three quarters by three quarter. Sold as an optional accessory is a crown stop and base extension. And that uses a V-groove and locking knob system on the fence. The crown stop allows the capex to be used in that special cutting position I just mentioned to cut ground up to six and five eighths inch, and again, in a nested position. Lasers, you either love them or you don't. A favorite of mine is their dual line laser. The laser is adjustable and projects a dual line laser on either side of that blade, accurately defining the blade or the cutout placement. The laser is spring loaded and it's got these cartridges that are, that are locked that will protect the laser during transport. And here's a pro tip a lot of you guys don't know. The laser lens can be cleaned over time, getting you know, resin and pitch off it for better visibility. One feature I've always appreciated, it's no coincidence, is that the deck of the Capex matches the height of a sustainer one storage container. That means that you can use one or more sustainers to support material if needed. And that's in a pinch, that's great if you don't have outriggers or something. Let's talk about kerfing or trenching. Another unique feature on the Capex is their special trenching capa uh, capacity or capability. You simply flip a, a green lever on the right side of the saw and you twist it to set the depth length. This feature lets you cut curves and trenches. You can create lap joints, dados, or even bend a board. Overall, 
We think the Festool Capex REQ makes sense for contractors looking for high quality precision tool that's gonna deliver functionality. It excels in dust extraction. It offers easy adjustments and features. Uh, it features quality accessories and components. The cut quality is exceptional as are the features and they should make this saw number one is functionality. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, or consider supporting our channel by joining as a channel member. I'm Rob Robillard, and we'll see you next time here at Toolbox Buzz.